I'm up. But we're gonna use this. High heavens formation. Nice. Let's go. My mind is clear. My blade empty. Now. <gasps> oh, I see a little difference there. Ooh. <laughs> Good morning. Major Claire. Uh, Instructor Claire. Sorry for the wait. <laughs> I didn't think you'd be the one coming to get us. You know, you can't be like, oh, fuck you. No, that's not happening. I would just say, I think Miss Herschel has made herself clear on what she wants to do. Your Excellency, you shouldn't tease her like that. sheer size of the city we're unable to cover every area which is the reason we've requested help from both schools to patrol the city and gather information depending on how the situation unfolds we may need the rest of the students and instructors to become involved as well I'm well aware that this isn't something we should be asking of fresh candidates governor understood I'm not sure how much I can help but I'll talk to our principal and fellow instructors. I shall also bring this up to the main campus instructors waiting at our own field exercise camp. Thank you both. Please be careful. May the goddess watch over you all. Ah yes, Kurt. It seems you did very well in the exams. You as well, your highness. You may have my you have my congratulations on earning the top rank. It's simply the result of work I put in. I didn't expect that class seven would have the same average as class one though. S sorry, Ada. If only we had scored a little higher. I've still got a long way to go before I can keep up with you, Ada. Well, class one does have twenty people in it. It's simply a matter of course that more people will have a bigger effect on the average. But that aside, we should congratulate them on their hard work. Prince Cedric, I do appreciate your kind words. What say you? We settle things here, though. Judging from the Imperial Chronicle, the world is curious about which each of the schools has been up to. So I propose we make a little competition out of this set of field exercises. For example, which of us can catch the most Calvadarian spies? <laughs> sounds like a good time. A good time nothing! That's a pretty bad joke, don't you think? As our activities differ from each other, it doesn't seem appropriate to compete over something like that. How feeble. Is this really the special class taught by the Ash and Javalier? Hey, fuck you. Alright? I don't like any of you. I'm gonna explode here. Huh. You're just a clobbered together team after all. Mm. That, was, that was like five F words. That was like seven different slurs. That could have come out right there. As you wish. Everyone has their own way of dealing with things. Sorry for the wait. Is something the matter? Nothing of note. Let's get going. Alright, let us all do the best work we can for our respective tasks. Instructor Reen, good luck to you as well. I'll leave the west half of the city to you. May the goddess bless you. Yeah, the same to you. Good luck in the east half. Urgh, 
What stick have they all got shoved up their asses? You know. How very straightforward of you. I can't recommend shouting something like that about the prince, especially while you're in Heindal. Still, looks like things are finally starting to get interesting. <laughs> my my, your students are really growing up, aren't they? I'm just glad they didn't get out of hand. Yuna can say what she want, man. Not gonna enjoy my time here, especially if someone says something that triggers me. Alright, let's start by exchanging info with the other groups involved. Okay, I'll go with Quir to visit the Heimdall Military Police. I'm sure we'll run into people from the Bracer Guild and the Courageous at the Intelligence Division's office, so I bet we can get some good info. I think you're right. See you again soon, Instructor Quir. We'll each do our best. Goodbye for now. Please stay safe, all of you. So, what are we going to go, what are we going to do for the first half of the day? We're supposed to be covering the west part of the city, but the specific location depends on the request. That's exactly right. Seems we've gotten used to the swing of things now. First off, let's see what we've got. Only one required, and two of these to deal with. Oh dear. I hope that's just another kit. Vesta Street in the Wika District. Never heard of either of them. Nothing Garnier. Damn. Of course not. That's on the eastern side of the city. Something tells me you're not interested in going there to shop, though. If memory serves, the back streets are full of bars. That is the typical spot. Ash goes when he sneaks off. Vesta Street is a busy commercial area, and Wika District is an academic area. Oh, and also... Hmm? Does that mean what I think it means? It's fine, Instructor. I wasn't trying to keep it a secret or anything. The Wicca District is built into a hill, and its biggest draw is the Imperial Museum. But it is also home to the headquarters of the Vander School. So in other words, your home's there. We've already visited Yuna, Muse, and Ash's homes. It's only fair we get to see yours, too. Ooh, should we find some gifts to bring with us? You can weed us there, Kurt. I've been there a few times, but I'm sure you know the way better than any of us do. True, I don't know too much about the city outside of the areas near St. Australia. Well, I'm not originally from here, so there's plenty of the city I'm not familiar with either, but... Understood? Let's start by checking the four different districts, including the ones we need for our requests. Once that's handled, we can go to the west highway and take care of that wanted monster. Sounds like a plan. So far, we've got Vesta Street and Wika District. Where else? And let's see. If we want to gather information, our best bet would probably be Van Greer Street in the s s whatever, the Sank District, that's northeast. Van Greer Street here goes north, all the way to the palace, you know? And then the Sank District is where the Heimdall Cathedral and St. Australia are. If we're lucky, we might even get a chance to see you east there. For real? So what, we're just gonna stroll the sidewalks hoping we spot one of Calvadarian's agents in wine for Galto? Man, looking at it again, it seems like it's gonna be a huge pain. We'll need to be on high alert the whole day. Let's begin gathering information. <laughs> you certainly sound motivated, Altina. So need to be. This is going to be a long day. If anything catches your attention, be sure to note it. Now let's begin day one of our special ops missions. Yes, sir. Uh, let's go here. Am I going to be walked in a district until I'm done with it? I hope I pick the one that has the stores. 
I think I just picked the one saying Australia immediately. Wow! This place is awe inspiring for sure. The Saint Di the S Saint District. It's said that this area contains more history and tradition than anywhere else in the entire capital. Perhaps Muse would know more about this than I. You attended the girls' school here. Only until last year. How will this end? Mm -hmm. Is that a general store? No, it's just another stupid hotel. I didn't come here for that. Let's go on and visit the Saint Destroyer right quick. But first, other things.
As soon as the company was in my control, I gave the rights to a longtime employee. the sign. Oh, yeah. Herschel. Okay, back to talking. In addition to all of the department stores, they also have various workshops and bouquets in this area. Sounds like this is the place to go for whatever we might need. We should examine the shops for any useful items. How the hell are we going to find these agents and all this? How indeed. The streets are flooded with tourists this time of year. Getting suspicious and questioning every passerby won't help us. So let's start by getting the way of the land. Aha, that makes sense. In that case, we can begin by searching this area. Now, before all that, uh, Herschel's shop? No! You mean Toa's aunt and uncle's shop, which I'm sure we just saw them. Now... Oh, hell no. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. No. No. 
Oh god, oh, I don't want to vomit after that. Like, I'm not kidding, that actually made me a little sick. This is the only main area that we can actually go back to from the first game. But that was completely disgusting. Ugh, green, gold hair. No, that is disgusting. That makes a man want to vomit. Oh, silver hair Gaius? How the hell is this gonna look? Probably not good. Hmm. Check out Silver Hair Gaius. Now oh, I must train oh, even more. Huh? <laughs> well, I did it. <laughs> I did it. Keep getting better. I can hardly even fucking see, and besides, it doesn't even look good. So now I just need to visit the plaza. What was this one? Yeah, wait, you're... <laughs> we get a lot of celebrities around here. I get to meet them on my ship, so it's pretty cool. <laughs> wait, what the... Oh, yeah, wait. Okay. Why does he have those glasses on? I know we're supposed to be trying to, like, hide ourselves around here, but what the hell? There are gifts all around. Gifts I will give real soon. You got a recommended dish? That uniform. Are you from Branch Campus? <laughs> Sorry. My parents work in the cafeteria at the main campus. Oh, I see. Ah, I used to go there all the time. <laughs> they told me all about the good work at the Branch Campus is doing, too. But there seems to be some tension between the two campuses. Yes, there is. Oh, sorry, I crossed the line there. Anyway, if you'd like to take a break, please come visit us. Mm-hmm. I'll take that. Nice. Brown hair Tita. Is that gonna be good? Obviously, Tita will join the party again, if... Maybe, maybe not. Okay. But brown hair Tita. Um... I don't know, actually, like... Hmm... I think we'll keep her blonde, maybe. I'll work on it a little here. We already have those for Emma, so... Now... <sighs> I don't think it fits her wand works. I mean, even Tita too, like, changing her hair color is like, whoa, are you sure about that? We've seen her with a blonde, and we're just gonna change her to brown? I think that's even more of a shock to do than just normal Cold Steel characters. Anyway, let's go visit St. Astraea right quick. Because why not? Here it is, St. Astraea's Girls' School! Oh wow, it's so fancy! So this is where Elise and the princess go to. I kinda envy them. I can make sense of music going to school here, but it is rather difficult to imagine you here. Hey, Allie, what are you trying to say? 
Hey, well, ain't this just a... Hey, well, this ain't just a nice little garden of shelter, naive ladies. I bet any one of them would do whatever you said if you fed them the right wines, including a certain someone's little sister. Hey, Ash! You shouldn't say such... This seems like an interesting conversation. Care to repeat that last comment? I didn't quite catch it. <laughs> oh god. Chill out, it was just a joke! Come on man, you're cutting off the circulation! I feel like I need to listen to all that again, because that was just perfect. This seems like an interesting conversation. Care to repeat that last comment? I didn't quite catch it. I just love that. This isn't the first time I've noticed it, but... It's like his personality completely changes when it comes to Elise. Big Brother mode activated. It doesn't even surprise me anymore. <laughs> I think the contrast between that and his normal self is just adorable. Rain! And everyone else, too! Hello there, Elise. <gasps> Elise! Well, speak of the devil. <laughs> I'd heard you were coming to Heimdall for your field exercises, but I didn't expect I'd get to see you on the first day. Yeah, we're on our way to our special ops missions. But there's something I need to ask you first. <laughs> I actually think seeing you was his main motivation. That is hardly difficult to believe considering his outbursts just now. <clears throat> eh? By the way, Ash, are you alright? Is your shoulder okay? It's nothing. I can finally feel my arm again. Hey, you better watch out when you start dating. You better make him get down on all fours and beg if you want him to live. What? <laughs> anyway, Elise, it's been a while. Thank you for the other day. Yes, <laughs> I should be the one to thank you. So, what was it you wanted to talk to me about? Well, actually... I had no idea. Elise, you're the student council president. Have you heard anything about this? I haven't. Her Highness is back at Valfame Palace, preparing for the summer festival. So the usual guards are absent today. Really? So, does that mean there's no security? Oh, we still have our regular security guards. But if what you say is true, it doesn't all add up. Yes, regardless of the pri pri yeah, the prince's princess's absence. Lowering the security for the daughters of the VIPs is indeed an unusual act. Hey, Elise, if you don't mind, let me speak with the head of- Look! Look! Uh, is that- uh, That guy President Elise is talking to- Ooh, it is! That's right! I heard he became an instructor for Thor's branch campus. Are those his students? Look at the boys! That handsome blue-haired one, and that blonde one has some real bad boy charm. The girl with the pink hair seems super cool. I should, I should say, what pink hair? There's no pink hair here. The silver-haired one is just like an adorable little doll. What silver hair? <laughs> Wait, and is that? <laughs> hey, please don't... I'm sorry for dropping in like this. I'll contact you again later. Yes, that would probably be for the best. All right, ladies, break time is over. Ugh. No, no fair, fair, President Elise. Elise. I heard this school emphasize modesty. Yeah, those girls are... These girls are about as modest as those bunny ear chicks we got back home. Well, that's what happens when girls get together. Still, there must be boundaries. Even now I suspect their heads are spinning with all sorts of wild fantasies. After all, I'm sure some of them simply can't be satisfied with your everyday boy meets girl romance. Huh? Well... Hey now. In any case, we can't proceed carelessly. I'll call Elise later. Let's return to our missions. Understood. Fine, let's get rolling then.
You wanna get hurt again, Ash? It's gonna fucking happen. I'll hurt you, boy. You don't talk about Elisa, you get smacked, son. So this is the Calvadarian em emb embassy? Embassy? Whatever? Yeah, but something seems off. What is it? It's customary for embassies to be guarded in front by the public order personal of the country they're in. Oof. I remember it's not. I know. In that, in the case of the capital, the Heimdall military police are the ones responsible. That's right, there used to be guards posted here. Excuse me, may I help you? 